Celtic agrees sixth summer signing, as Moritz Jens deal finalised. Lorient defender Moritz Jens has agreed to join Celtic on a season-long loan. The 23-year-old will make the move to the Glasgow Giants this week when the formalities of the deal are complete. Some stats for the player. Date of birth, April 30, 1999. Place of birth, Berlin, Germany. Age, 23. Height, 190m. Citizenship, German. Position, defender centre-back. Foot, right. Player agent, RDF Football. Current club, FC Lorient. Joined, August 30, 2021. The contract expires on June 30, 2026. Celtic and Lorient have reached an agreement in principle on the loan, but are still negotiating the loan-to-buy option before the deal is signed off. Jens has been targeted to provide cover and competition to first-choice centre-back duo Cameron Carter-Vickers and Carl Starfelt. The defender will become Celtic's sixth summer signing following Alexandra Bernabé, Benjamin Segrist and 2021-22 Lonies Hotter, Carter-Vickers and Dizen Maeda. Jens made 18 appearances across all competitions for Lorient last season after completing a move from Lausanne Sport in Switzerland in the summer of 2021. He came through the ranks at Fulham, making 73 appearances at youth level for the London side before leaving for Europe without making his senior bow. The defender, who can also play right back, is under contract at Lorient until June 2026. Celtic will be hoping Jens can help maintain the stellar defensive record they set in the 2021-22 campaign after leaking just 22 goals across 38 league outings. The arrival of the German could spell the end at Parkhead for Christopher Jullian, who has failed to make a full return to action after a serious injury layoff in 2020. Celtic are also reportedly close to completing the addition of veteran Australia international Aaron Moy, who is available on a free transfer after leaving the Chinese Super League. Celtic appear to have dropped out of contention to sign Forsto Vera, with Henk reported to have made an improved offer for the midfielder. I did say this would happen after we changed and went for Moy. Following the signing of Alexandra Bernabé from Lanus, there was strong speculation that Vera could follow the defender to Scotland, but there seems to be little substance to back that up. If Aaron Moy is signed as a free agent it is difficult to see any more midfielders coming in with Callum McGregor, David Turnbull, Matt O'Reilly, Rio Hattate, Yosuke Itaguchi and James McCarthy already at the club. Following the signing of Alexandra Bernabé from Lanus, there was strong speculation that Vera could follow the defender to Scotland, but there seems to be little substance to back that up. Celtic miss out on Dylan Reid, as he rejects transfer to continue development at St Mirren. The Bud is granted the 17-year-old permission to speak to Angie Postecoglou's side after the hoops had a £125,000 offer accepted from the Premiership outfit. However, he has decided against leaving the Buddies. The Bud is granted the 17-year-old permission to speak to Angie Postecoglou's side after the hoops had a £125,000 offer accepted from the Premiership outfit. However, after taking time to consider the offer the Youth Academy graduate has decided against the switch and will remain in Paisley to continue his development. He became the Butters' youngest ever player to turn out for the club, as well as the youngest ever Premiership player when he made his debut in March last year, at the age of just 16 years and 5 days. He has since gone on to feature for the top team on five occasions, and he will be looking to push for first-team chances under Stephen Robinson this season after opting against a switch to Celtic. James Forrest has been at Celtic for longer than any other player at the club, he even managed to share some time as a first-team squad member with Polish goalkeeper Artur Boruk, who left Celtic shortly afterwards. But the two players have that in common, and will no doubt share a moment together on Wednesday night when Celtic travel to Poland to play Legia Warsaw in the Artur Boruk testimonial match. 
Forrest spoke to the media yesterday afternoon after an intense training session at Celtic Park, which was open to the support and attracted around 10,000 supporters. The boiling hot temperatures didn't stop Angie Postacoglu from insisting on the usual intensity, on the training pitch and a team when it looks like the manager's activity in the transfer market is also hotting up with the imminent arrivals of the two players he promised would be signing this week. And amid some criticism of the imminent Moy and Jens deals, James Forrest yesterday pointed out that Angie Postacoglu has earned trust in terms of the players he wants to sign, given the manager's track record so far in the transfer market as Celtic manager. If you look in the past, sometimes one or two new signings do really well. Last year, I don't think you can come up with one who hasn't made an impact. It's always good to add quality players as well, Jamesy said at yesterday's media conference from Celtic Park. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.